and I'm back with the last part of all summer in a day so here uh, I'll just uh, start with the next part of the story the children lay out laughing on the jungle mattress and heard it sigh and squeak under them resilient and alive they ran among the trees they slipped and fell and they pushed each other they played hide and seek and tag but most of all they quinted at the sun until the tears ran down their faces they put their hands up to the yellowness and the image and that amazing blueness and they breathed of the fresh fresh air and listened and listened to the silence which suspended them in a blessed sea of no sound and no motion so this is you we can also have uh, you know visual imagery in front of us how this those children were enjoying those brief moment of exposure in sun they were running they were laughing they lie they were lying on the jungle and they were uh, pushing each other they were playing hide and seek I mean somehow within that limited period they wanted to enjoy their whole life last seven years every moment they were inside the tunnel that underground place they never got the chance to go out because every time it rained now they are out so they enjoyed to a limit and then it is said you see but most of all they squinted at the sun they looked at the sun they were not uh, allowing their eyes to move to look any other thing except sun till the tears come came out from their eyes and then they were enjoying the tearlessness that is the light of the sun amazing blueness amazing blueness means that sky clear blue <coughs> sky and they breathed of fresh fresh air they were out so they were breathing in fresh air and they were listening to silence now see how nicely it is given listen to the silence in silence can we listen anything no because they never felt silence so something they were it was there in the silence also they could listen they could hear something which suspended them in a blessed sea of no sound or no motion there was no motion there was no sound no storm no rain drops sound nothing they looked at everything <coughs> savored everything that means they were looking everywhere that excellent view they were relishing that view they were enjoying then wildly like animals escaped from their caves they ran and ran in shouting like the animals here you see this is simile used simile used for the children like the animals when they are uh, inside the cave and not coming out not getting chance to come out and suddenly they get chance to come out what would they do the same thing was happening with those children <coughs> they were running and they were shouting they ran for an hour and did not stop because they could not get chance to do that and then in the midst of their running one of the girls welled and suddenly when they were enjoying to the fullest suddenly they heard that one girl started crying everyone stopped the girl standing in the open held out her hand oh look look she said trembling the girl was trembling and she just showed her hand the other other children they all came close to her they came slowly to look at her open palm what was there in her open palm in the center of it cupped and huge was a single raindrop that means time is over now again it's the time the sun to disappear because there was a droplet of rain on her palm so she began to cry looking at it because all the after being a visitor for a brief period now the sun is again going out 
they glanced quietly at the sun still sun was visible so they were they were looking at sun because it is again going to be a long period of time they could not view it a few cold drops fell on their noses and their cheeks and their mouths so start it started pouring rain drops the sun faded behind a steer of mist so slowly sun got faded and it became again foggy a wind blew cold around them and again though there was cold wind they turned and started to walk back forward so they were running na so they again turned back and they wanted to reach their underground house first their hands at their sides their smiles vanished away all their smiles all their happiness gone a boom of thunder startled them and like leaves before a new hurricane they tumbled upon each other and run so again there will be hurricane there will be tremendous storm so a violent storm is going to appear so before that they wanted to reach back lightning struck 10 miles away 5 miles away a mile half mile that means it was coming the lightning thundering coming close the sky darkened into midnight in a flash sky again became darkened they stood in the doorway of the underground for a moment until it was raining hard so again their life was in the tunnel then they closed the door and heard the gigantic sound huge sound they heard the huge sound of rain again falling in torrents and avalanche means like the snow so falls from the mountain like that it started raining will it be seven more years yes seven then one of them gave a little cry margaret what she is still in the closet where we locked her margaret so it now after all the excitement now they remembered margaret they stood as if someone had driven them like so many sticks into the floor they looked at each other and then looked away they glanced out at the world that was raining now and raining and raining steadily they could not meet each other's glance children this part you have to understand now they suddenly their mind changed they started feeling positive and because of that positive feeling they were feeling guilty they were guilt about what about the mis- the um, wrong thing what they did with margaret they deprived they managed to deprive margaret of what she wanted the most they managed to extract the revenge but this time they were feeling guilt there was guilt so they could not look at one another their faces were pale that time margaret one of the girls said well no one moved go on whispered the girl they walked slowly down the hall in the sound of cold rain they turned through the doorway to the room in the sound of the storm and thunder lightning on their face blue and terrible they walked over the closet door slowly and stood by it behind the closet door was only silence they unlocked the door even more slowly and let them let market out so they felt they were guilty they felt bad because that exposure of sun changed their mind so they went slowly and they opened the closet and let margaret out what they did for that they were feeling bad so from this what we can understand that the sun has a very positive energy and it has immediately a pleasurable effect because the moment the children exposed to the sun they felt guilty it has created a positive impact on the children's personality and it seems to have uh, you know physically revived the children in absence of sunlight the absence of sunlight actually made them cruel hurt it and now they are more energized 
as they experience the sun so now they could connect the mental condition of market with them so it will be very uh, uh, difficult it will be unbearable to face rain continuously for next ten next seven years so they could understand the feeling of margaret why margaret was silent why she used to live in isolation why she used to remain upset why she wanted to go back to earth so they could connect margaret so and uh, one more thing is this exposure of sun makes them mature to realize what they have done that is wrong so this is the story i hope everyone understood now you will see in your workbook very nicely everything given from the theme is given you go through the theme you will understand that theme what is uh, you know uh, like how the exposure of sun change the mindset of the children that we will get to know like uh, here what uh, bradbury actually wanted to show that how the children they felt ashamed and they felt sad for their own deeds what they did when when they were out under the sun when that sun's positive energy energized them positively so this is the story i hope everyone understood go through workbook notes go through the line by line uh, lines of the story and also uh, you write the meaning from the workbook then it will be easy for you to write the question answers thank you